Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the Seaman, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down. Um, another first for the studio. Uh, we are getting ready to take a look at a trailer, and I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to move the tripod because like the camera's in like the perfect spot for like my, my regular videos, where you know we're doing reviews and conversations and things like that. So you know, I dropped myself down a little bit so I didn't have to re angle the camera. We zoomed in a little bit, and I think. I think that's going to provide a really nice setup to watch a trailer, don't you? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think I got it right. Anyway, I digress. We have a trailer to look at. We have a couple trailers to look at, actually. And this first one is one I am very psyched about. It's one of my most anticipated films of the year. Because anytime George Miller steps out and says, hey, I'm going to direct a movie. And especially when he says, hey, I'm going to direct a Mad Max movie. I am here for that. What are we talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the second official trailer for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. And like I said, I'm psyched for this movie, man. That first Mad Max, I think a lot of it pops because of all the practical, tangible things that are in the movie. However, that being said, the movie in and of itself and the story and just the ride that Miller takes you on for a Mad Max movie... It was one of those movies not too far off from something like Dune, where you walked out and you went, I've never quite seen a movie like that. And yes, this one's going to have slightly different vibes because of the, the willingness to have more CGI visual effects in the movie to create a, a, a less intense set and production. And that's fine because it all looks really, really good. And... At the end of the day, it's really about the story and about the person you're taking that ride with. And no, we don't get Charlize Theron here. We get Anya Taylor-Joy. But when I tell you that this girl is one of the most talented people in all of Hollywood right now, I mean, everything she touches for me is gold, whether that is a really great movie or a not-so-good movie. And one of the other things that I've come to find in the movies that I watch with her, she seems like someone who's willing to commit to doing the physical things that are required in the job, to doing stunts. And if you can't have Charlize in this movie, which I think there's a world where you could have had Charlize and it would have been fine, but if you were going to look to change it up and get a different actor and put her in these shoes, I think Anya Taylor-Joy is someone who's willing to go to the places that Charlize goes and has the chops to pull off the things that you're going to need with Furiosa, which is extremely exciting. And then you counter her with freaking Chris Hemsworth, who doesn't even look like Chris Hemsworth, man? The sunburn, the nose, the beard, the hair. Everything's got a different vibe. And I've been saying for years, this dude is so much more than Thor. He is a phenomenal character actor. And this looks like a character for him. So that first trailer got me super psyched. I can't wait to see what we're getting. Uh, my good buddy Adler over at Kalex Encounter. He uh, threw me a comment. was like, I cannot wait to see your reaction to the new Furiosa trailer. Well... Adler, Kalex, you guys don't have to wait much longer because we are getting ready to take a look at this. Um, naturally, I found my headphones, or my mom found my head, my, my AirPods, and then I went and left them down in the car <laughs> for my Best Buy excursion this morning. So we're back to the blue headphones, but that's fine. We just need to be able to hear what's going on. So let's get ourselves, I think set up in a in a in a good spot here let's get the trailer up for you let's not waste any more time and take a look at what we are getting with furiosa a mad max sagas official trailer number two furiosa. Ooh, a little oh, that was that was cool uh oh oh man we're getting all of furiosa's story not the first time from mastermind George Miller. Also, the casting. That little girl looks like a young Anya Taylor-Joy. As a child, my world was forever changed. Yes, let's go. It was magnificent. Okay. And he took it all from me. Yes, build this rivalry. I'm very pumped. Oh man, so he's had her since she was a little girl? My childhood. My mother. I want them back. 
<laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh, I love that little fire in the voice. Yo. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm so pumped for him. The voice looks like and sounds like a madman. She will return with a vengeance. Yes, dude. This thing looks huge. Yes, cut the hair off. Yes. But to get home. Let's go. Hell yes. Remember me. Yeah, nobody's gonna be forgetting Furiosa after this one, man. Only in theaters. Experience it in IMAX. May twenty. Fourth was that? Um, that, yeah, May twenty fourth, Memorial Day weekend. Cannot get here soon enough. Of uh, shoot, man. I mean, we, we we've talked about how like I need to stop having things that make me want to flash forward into the future so much, dude. Um, that looks great though. Um, you like you can definitely tell that George Miller is playing with more visual effect stuff here and uh, you know less practical, tangible things. Uh, like you I mean you look at like this spot here where that you know that that truck goes through that that building you can tell that's visual effects yeah cgi stuff but that's fine i think there's enough tangible things here where like there are some big rigs and some big cars and some tangible action um but to get to the epic scale i'm fine with the cgi and literally every frame in this trailer is freaking gorgeous um you know i just i, I think this is a world that Miller understands and owns so well. And going back to this kind of a world for this type of a story, I think it's super exciting. Um, I, I tell you, man, the first thing that got me pumped, though, was when Taylor Joy was like, she kind of like yells whatever she yells, like right at the end here, where like she's got like this kind of gritty wildness that kind of felt kind of feels like when uh you know the the bald dudes like shoot that silver spray paint in their mouths and they get like fired up energy um that's very much the vibe and the feel i have if, if we can ever get to it. i swear i can't i can't find anything in these trailers um i want them back yeah here like that little that little jump in with the camera and just the grit in her voice like i want the book like it, it kind of had that like fury road vibe to it and again i mean just the the even with more cgi visual effects these action sequences and moments in this movie look absolutely as big as the trucks that everybody is driving in this movie but like it looks big it looks intense I, I, again, I can't say enough things about freaking Chris Hemsworth. I mean, like, just just this little bit right here where he's like, Arr! like, he is full character right now, and I'm so here for all of it. And uh, again, like, this just, it looks like it's coming from that world, and it looks like the story that y you want to see I, I love that we're gonna get more of uh, morton joe um i think joe is such a fascinating character in that first mad max and i like that while we know joe is a villain he's not the villain for furiosa in this moment right like she's gunning for chris hemsworth's character so like uh, you can you can see how she's gonna end up with a morton joe by the end of this movie and then that obviously tees us up for everything that 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 comes in the mad max fury road story but yeah i mean the visuals the scope the scale all on the same level there's just slightly less practical effects and, and that's totally fine because we live in a world where 
we just saw Dune, and there are moments in that film that are a hundred percent CGI visual effects, and they all look real AF. Um, but I mean, just the the cut, like everything that comes from this world from Miller pops the colors the music and it all feels like it's injected with this adrenaline right like that's that's why I like that little camera twitch and the way that you know Taylor Joy delivers that line um like I, I want them back it just it, it's it's capturing everything that I want and then what we are physically seeing like I said this looks like a big bold Mad Max saga film and I'm pumped that we get the full Furiosa story here. It's one of those things where it's like, especially after the first trailer, it's like we're only going back so far. But if we're going to get the full saga, I love getting her as a kid and taking away from her mom and, you know, talk, you know, hearing her mom be like, protect the green place. Like, so many good things. So many good things. Um, but yeah, I think everything here is looking absolutely fire um i can't wait for memorial day i love george miller i love mad max i love anya taylor joy i love furiosa and i love anytime chris hemsworth is doing full-on character work dude he looks so good um so yeah i'm gonna shut up there there's this is everything i want in a summer memorial day movie the question is what about you do you want everything that this movie is selling on a memorial day weekend uh, how pumped are you for furiosa a mad max saga how big of a fan of the first well it's not the first mad max but the first in this world that george miller has created um like mad max fury road how big of a fan of, are you of that how big of a fan of you of the original mad max movies uh with mel gibson um where do you come from in this fandom and what about this movie is speaking to you um do, do you think it has the ability to reach the same places as fury road could this go on an oscar run how pumped are you for Anya Taylor-Joy? Do you think she's up for the task? Do you think Chris Hemsworth is up for a little character performance? Or is he just looking too over the top for you? Anything you got, good, bad, indifferent, on the second trailer for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, put it down below in the comment section. I look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the C-Man anytime we're talking movies, TV, trailer reactions, you want to be here come Memorial Day weekend in May to find out my thoughts on Furiosa, Mad Max Saga, and you haven't yet, you just want to show a little love and support, well, hey, come join C-Maniac Nation. Super easy. Jump over there. Hit the subscribe. Hit the little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time, for the C-Man's Cinema, sit down. I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace! Hey, what's up, Sea Maniac Nation? Winter Ken here, where we grow out our roots and our beard, letting you know that you can see some new Seaman videos right up here and right down here. And if you want all those videos and show that man a little love and support, come join Sea Maniac Nation right over there, and the Seaman will catch you on the next one.